Have you ever wanted to know exactly what was going on in those dreams you can only half remember last night? Want to see inside the subconscious mind of a close friend or family member? Want to know what your dog's running from in its sleep? Well, want no longer. Presenting the Chroma Dream Key. Last summer, I invented and perfected a device that allows you to see inside the dreams of any sleeping subject. The device automatically adjusts to the target's brainwave frequency, or BF, allowing an operator to record dream footage. While recording dream footage, a dream version of the camera enters into the subject's current dream, or SCD, where this dreamer's own subconscious mind assigns it a camera dream form, or CDF, that is most appropriate for their current dream. Now, while the device perfectly translates the SDP into an ODT, allowing for FCV of the SCD, unfortunately, footage from IRL captures with an orange and blue tint that I still haven't fully quite figured out how to get rid of, but anyway. Since recording what you're about to see, I destroyed the only working prototype of the device, but I've changed my mind since then again, and I'd like to gauge public interest and see what the world thinks of this device. Without further ado, let me present to you test footage of the Chroma Dream Key. The Chroma Dream Key. The Chroma Dream Key. Also, I'm gonna do live commentary while watching the video on my phone, so. Alrighty, uh, test one of the Okay, so first off, the device has a somewhat yeah, limited range, about 20, it. 25 feet. Uh, the device I works best on heavy sleepers. Now. So we're transitioning from IRL to the SCB now. What? Right, so the burping sound at this point in the dream startles me, causing me Shit, to uh, vocalize and lose focus on the target. Yeah, I'm not Anything else um, to weird thing about the Those device, I didn't intend changing I'll position and angle in IRL seems to affect oh, the angle of the CDF in the SCD. Yeah, useful to know if this thing ever gets uh, mass produced Focus. in its current state. Okay, here we go. All right, positioning in again. It's kind of hard to tell here, but I have to hold the camera very steady to get footage like this. Um, it's sometimes really hard to get a good lock for no reason at all, and I haven't really figured out why. But, um... Right. That was weird, but I'm gonna try again. I think I'll try over here this time. Okay, this doesn't look right. Oh, never mind. Never mind again. God, I think he's having a nightmare or something. This is horrifying. Obviously, having a nightmare. Oh, my cigars. Okay, I think I'm gonna go destroy this device now. No conscious being should have this power. Obviously, I didn't destroy the device. I figure Pandora's box might be worth opening if there's loot inside, you know? I figure Pandora's box might be worth opening if there's loot inside, you know? I figure Pandora's box might be worth opening if loot inside. I figure Pandora's box might be worth opening. So what do you think? Should I do more tests? Would you buy one? Let me know in the comments and subscribe for future stuff. Are we done?